Okay, so today we are talking about pretty much every single Roblox YouTuber ever's biggest nightmare and actually how that nightmare has finally come to an end. So said nightmare is actually a plugin on Google Chrome or actually an extension on Google Chrome and it was known as Row Searcher and I myself have never actually made a video about that before. However, in a few videos where I was talking about my experience with exploiters in games like Arsenal, I do remember mentioning a few times Times here and there something about a plugin that I wasn't going to name because I just I didn't want to start anything like unnecessarily like I never liked the plugin I never liked the idea of the extension and the same can be said like I said for every single Roblox YouTuber because it basically was their biggest nightmare and a lot of people seemed to make that very clear like when I s the first thing that appears when I search Roblox researcher on YouTube is a video called a developer made a plugin to annoy Roblox YouTube and that is probably the most accurate description of this extension and that video it's that video was a year ago and it has like 500,000 views so this has been ongoing for a very long time so to see it finally get removed you know I can imagine that a lot of people are going to be very happy about this and especially the bigger youtubers because if this is annoying for a small YouTuber like me, I cannot imagine the YouTubers with like millions and millions of subscribers. But basically, the popular extension Raw Searcher has been taken off of the Google Web Store. If you try to search up the extension on the Google Extension Store, you will get this message. And the message that you get, it's basically just one of those 404 errors. And then the actual Raw Searcher extension page itself says, warning, this extension has been identified as very high risk. And then right underneath that, we can see this extension is no longer available in the Chrome Web Store. So my first thoughts is that the developer of the extension decided to take it down by themselves, whatever that reason may be. But after seeing the warning of being very high risk right above where it says that the extension is no longer available, that kind of makes me think that the actual like Google store took it down and not the developers of the extension but right now nothing is confirmed like we have no idea why this was taken down and we also have no idea who actually took it down so right now all we can do is guess and theorize but all I'm saying is with the warning mixed with that this extension is no longer available, it probably got taken down by the Google store itself. But the reactions right off the bat, the top reply to this tweet is from Creekcraft. Good, can't believe Roblox allowed an extension that literally bypasses their entire block system anyway. That's interesting. I didn't know that to have an extension on Roblox, like I didn't know that Roblox themselves had to allow it or they had to approve it. Thinking about it now, that does make a lot of sense. Like I don't understand how you could make an extension for Roblox if Roblox doesn't approve it. But at the same time, the reason I didn't think that they needed to approve something like this is because why would they approve something like this? So if you don't know what Researcher is, or if you've just never heard of it, or if you're not too familiar with what Researcher is, basically, I never had the extension myself for the most obvious of reasons. It was so annoying to deal with, but I'm pretty sure what it did is using Research, you could search up uh, some, like literally anyone's username. So my join settings are set to no one can join me, like literally at all times, not even my friends can join me in games. But if I was in a game and somebody typed in my username into the researcher plugin, they could bypass all of those settings and join me in that game anyway. So in my settings tab, it will say no one can join me. But with a Rust Searcher, literally anyone could have joined me and that is exactly what happened. And the same goes for, like I said, literally every single Roblox YouTuber, this was their biggest nightmare because with having millions of subscribers, I can imagine you've got a lot of people wanting to join your game the second they've seen that you have joined a game. So obviously your join settings are not going to be public. You're going to set it to no one can join you or at least to set it to only friends. So I'm gonna say right away, if my join settings are set to no one, or if somebody else's join settings are set to no one, they are set to no one for a reason. We don't want people to join us. So with the entire purpose of Researcher existing to be so that people can join you 
despite your joint settings being no one, you can understand why so many people were upset with this existing, with this being a thing. I mean, I guess it's fine if you're just trying to play a game by yourself and somebody notices you within the game, they recognize you, they say hello, that's whatever. But there is a lot of times where YouTubers will be trying to record videos and with Rosuch you're making it that easy for fans to join the game whilst you're recording. Like, it's not that big of a deal, I guess, to have a few people here and there being like, oh, hello, I love your videos, blah, 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 any of that whilst you're recording, it's fine. But with these people with millions of subscribers, they're going to get a lot of people joining them, crowding around them and spamming them, harassing them, whatever. It's going to ruin the entire video. And more times than not, they probably just had to stop recording and just try and do it again later, which is extremely annoying. And then also in Creek's reply he brought up a pretty good point saying that this extension also not only did it bypass everyone's join settings but it also bypassed the block system because if you block someone on Roblox that basically stops them from being able to add you as a friend or send you a message or follow you or then also join your game. So obviously if you were to block someone because you don't want them to join your game. Like if they were harassing you or annoying you in a game, so you block them so that you, they, they can't keep joining your game, with Researcher, they can very easily join your game again, completely just making the block feature 100% useless in that case. But it's like I said, I've never made my own video about Researcher before. This is the first time that I'm doing so and it's entirely because it just got removed off of the Google web store. But I did mention it a few different times in videos where I was talking about my experience with exploiters in Arsenal. And the reason I mentioned it in those videos is because when I'm playing Arsenal, it's gonna be like nine times out of 10, I'm just trying to record a video. So it's either people using Researcher to get into that video and to annoy me or you know, people will try targeting you, it's whatever. However, the most annoying thing for me to experience personally with Researcher was people using it to join my game to exploit. Like with me playing Arsenal, the most people could do was just Research me, join the game, go on the other team and try and go against me, that's whatever. I mean, I still prefer that didn't happen because my joins are off for a reason, but at the same time, it's fine, I can just about deal with that. But when people are using it to join a game to purposely exploit the game whilst you're trying to record a video, when they know you're recording a video, that's... It's, uh, you can see why it's so annoying. And it's just like I said, I have what, 300,000 subscribers. So if it's this annoying for me, I cannot even begin to imagine how it is for someone like Creecraft with millions of subscribers or like someone like Flamingo with 10 million subscribers. But then also it has also been removed from the Firefox add-ons. And it says right there that this could have been removed because either the developer removed it or Firefox themselves removed it. So again, this literally doesn't confirm anything it's literally just telling us like the only two theories that we had it's telling us it could be either one of those i guess the reason it got removed doesn't really matter at this point the the main important thing is that it did get removed and a lot of people like not surprisingly are pretty happy about this so one more time please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because i will always appreciate the love and support that you guys give me and you know what it helps me out a lot me get think of researcher finally being removed from the google web store and giving youtubers some peace at last thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one